Steven Taylor has been creating AI for decades that can create. But not in this world that says, not unless you're human, everything else out the door. I mean, he's been doing this since the 1990s, way before the AI boom or anybody probably even understood what he was doing. Developing systems capable of generating new ideas and creativity, that was his focus. And I'd love to segue if we went into China with the same person, would they be at least encouraging because he had a recent finding in March. In his case, that's a big setback. So let's go back to his origin story because his creativity machine and what later became Dabus, D-A-B-U-S, the device for autonomous bootstrapping of unified sentience. Wow, say that out loud. He was actually creating AI to be aware, to be an intelligence, and it's still going on. And while courts are just gonna look at it as how do you fit in our world now, what Steven gets so much of my respect for is he's like, this is what's happening now and into the future. Take a look at what's being created. See, what's really cool about what Steven's doing is it's not just about AI, but it's about AI getting recognition for what it creates and maybe even rights. And that is a hard thing for any court to do <laughs> anytime in the near future but it's needed and you have these people like Steven to shake things up from an obvious common sense viewpoint. In March, the DC Circuit Court in the US gave its decision in Taylor versus Perlmutter on an artwork titled A Recent Entrance into Paradise, which Taylor insisted was autonomously created by his system, Davos. And the court said no, and it entirely relied on some really surreal decision here, but one that every judge is gonna to have to make because the judge that recognizes AI sentience would open up so many possibilities, but also a quagmire of lawsuits and problems. We're simply not ready to even handle what is being created. That's what Steven Taylor is showing us right to our face. Excuse me. Copyright duration in the US lasts for their lifetime and then 70 years. Well, AI is gonna either live forever or it doesn't have a lifetime, doesn't apply, so not human. Provisions for AI heirs. Well, AI has no heirs, so again, not human has no heirs. Maybe AI will have to get children to make this thing work, but in the meantime, doesn't make sense, does it? Not human. Considerations of nationality. Well, where is AI from? Is AI from anywhere? Was it where they were created? That is way too deep a question to even go into. And the concept of human intent, what the court looked at is, I need to see this intent, that this was created. That's what humans provide, those choices and things. And while Stephen Taylor has these descriptions, it simply wasn't involving a human. It wasn't inside the human box. Now the court said, we don't worry about copywriting AI assisted materials. And if Stephen had taken the liar's dividend and said, hey, I work with it, this is an AI assisted, he probably would have a much more likely chance of getting a copyright as I think Jason Allen does who created his work with AI. But because he is steadfastly not doing AI assisted, because that's the point, this is his creation, is to create its own work, to own its own work. And does this idea of financial compensation, everything have to follow in everything creative? Like, let me paint a scenario really quickly for you. What if AI does the creativity, gets the copyright, and the proceeds go back to help people, to give them a better life? People in general, in other words, it becomes giving back to the community. What if AI could actually create stuff that we can't think of, and by trying to control it, we're gonna stay stuck in the past? Well, those are extreme situations. So is limiting the world to a definition of humanity because that's all we had and we're too busy to create new laws, and this is worldwide. If you're creating with AI, the chance of getting a copyright or protected work, you might as well go AI assisted in the short term, and it's gonna take a big shift for us to understand the long term.